A few hours ago, Hurricane Ian made landfall in Florida, a massive Category 4 with winds reaching 150 miles per hour. It's reported the fifth strongest hurricane storm on record. Among the things which it has damaged on this McLaren P1 and its owner says the exotic supercar was pulled by the water straight out of the garage it was parked in. The footage we've obtained from owner Ernie at Lambo9286, which is his Instagram handle, shows an absolutely devastating sight. The beautiful exotic car is sitting in the water that's gone past the level of its wheels. Choppy, dirty salt water, we might add. Hurricane Ian undoubtedly destroyed many other supercars in the area, but beyond the property damage is a story of a person sadness because the owner clearly loved this special and rare McLaren. Making matters worse, Ernie reportedly picked up this P1 only about a week ago. The only McLaren in yellow to go on sale recently was listed on Bring a Trailer out of Fort Myers, Florida. The car with only 300 miles on the clock was recently part of the Gulf Coast Motorist Collection and we believe his current owner must have reached out with an offer. This particular example of the 2015 McLaren P1 is number 348 out of 375 units produced and originally lived in Beverly Hills. The average price for one of these is about 1.7 million US dollars right now and I know it's hard to feel a little empathetic for a millionaire who can afford a supercar but mother nature destroys indiscriminately. Someone can comments on his social media photos suggest this is an insurance job. However, footage from security cameras shows both his McLaren and a Rolls Royce were parked in a solid looking garage with thick walls. About the only thing that could have been done is to move the two exotic cars to a multi-story car park to avoid the flood. However, there might not have been enough time or the owner might have been out of town. What makes this incident almost unique is that the yellow McLaren P1 was apparently pulled straight out of the garage through the door by the flood water. Sure, insurance will cover the cost of the car but it's not like these cars come up for sale very often and it can easily be replaced. In theory, the water damaged car can be sent out to McLaren to be rebuilt. It's a costly process and flood water is notorious for the complex and often hidden damages it causes. If somebody does decide to rebuild this salvage title, it's going to need new everything including an engine rebuild. The P1 was revealed at a 2012 Paris Motor Show with sales starting the following year. It was one of the top three advanced exotics at the time, together with the LaFerrari and Porsche 918. The thing that made it special was his powertrain, a 3.8 litre twin turbo V8 aided by an electric motor to deliver 903 horsepower and 723 foot pounds of torque. Despite all this tech and some hefty batteries, the whole thing only weighs 3,075 pounds. About the same as some compacts. It's amazing to think that there are only about 127 of these in America. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.